So I made a mod pack for Minecraft called RL Craft. And when you first load up this mod pack and enter the world of RL Craft, you might think, wow, this is great. What an exciting, beautiful new world with endless opportunities to fulfill my every dreams. But, uh, but, but then you realize when you say dreams, you actually mean your worst fucking nightmares. To say RL Craft is hard is a bit of an understatement. In fact, your first few minutes in RL Craft might go a little something like this. Why are you attacking me? It is the middle of daylight. Where did you even come from? Whoa, there's dragons? Is this Skyrim? Okay, Pff, a skeleton, easy peasy. What? Did he just one-shot me? Oh, I sure do love random spawns. I'm now in a desert, and I already have hyperthermia. Hey, do you guys know the way out of the desert? Oh, what the fuck, man? I just asked for directions. Whoa, what the fuck is that? What the fuck are those? What is that? Ooh, look, a cave. <laughs> oh, now I spawned in the middle of nowhere. In a... What even is this biome? Not sure, but now I have hypothermia. What do you mean I can't punch trees to get wood? Nope, nope, nope. Nope. Oh, I spawned in the middle of the ocean. Guess I'll drown. No, no. Oh, I spawned in lava. <laughs> Guess I'll just... <laughs> really? I spawned in lava? Ooh. Oh! Whoa, what the hell is this biome? Ah, oh, okay. So those are prickly. Don't touch the prickly things. I'm sure glad I know to avoid those prickly things now. Ooh, look, a flower. Oh good, I spawned right next to a dragon. You know what? Let's go, dragon. You wanna go? 1v1 me, dragon. Come on. Da, 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 da. Some of these fists here. Well, some of these fists here. Da, da, da. You'd be surprised how much I actually left out. Needless to say, you're gonna have a bad time. <gasps> what the fuck? That is, unless of course, you watch this video. That's right, welcome to the official RL Craft Beginner's Guide. You wanna survive? Then you're gonna need to listen up, boy. You wanna become the Shroud of Minecraft? Then you need to listen up, boy. You wanna listen up, boy? Then you need to listen up, boy! Alright, so, with that out of the way... Let's just jump into it, guys, on three, two, one. Step one, find a shelter. RL Craft ain't here to hold your hand. And the likelihood of you being able to build a shelter before nightfall is about the same likelihood that YouTube will finally send me my 100k play button. Oh! RL Craft has a really strong emphasis on exploration and adventuring. With new biomes and over 200 custom generations, you're encouraged to explore. And finding a shelter shouldn't be too difficult. With those custom generations ranging from random houses to pimped out villages, mine shafts, old ruins, there's tons more too like full on custom dungeons, massive statues, even floating castles in the sky. And hobbit holes. But let's start with that first random shitty house you found, okay? Baby steps. Step two don't punch trees because you can't. This is RL Craft. Real life. What did you expect? Most blocks require their harvest tool now, minus things like dirt and sand. So punching wood will result in a Thanos snap of that block and you left feeling empty. How do I get tools then, you ask? Well, it's possible a shelter you find may have some starting gear for you to use, but in the off chance it does not, then you'll have to do things the hard way. And I mean the really hard way. <laughs> there are now flint tools. Flint, of course, you can get from gravel, which you then take and promptly smash on a hard surface to break it into flint shards. Sticks can just be acquired from breaking tree leaves. A stick and a flint shard make a flint knife, which can be used to cut grass, giving you grass fiber, which can be crafted in the grass string, which can be used to create your first flint axe, which can be used to cut down your first tree. Why is this so fucking complicated, you ask? Because I'm a goddamn sadist, okay? Hopefully you got all that. If not, you're doomed. Step three. These steps are less steps and more excuses for me to say some bullshit because I'm bad at tutorial videos. There's a bunch of little things you kinda have to know that don't really fit anywhere else, so yeah. Random spawning! That's right, until you set a spawn point via a bed or waystone, you'll be randomly spawning in a 10,000 by negative 10,000 radius. Because fuck you. Waystones are very rare and spawn randomly throughout the world, and can be used to set your spawn point as well as traveling between waystones you've unlocked. Think waypoints in Diablo. Every village will have a waystone, though. Oh, I guess I should also tell you that you can no longer just run over items to pick them up. You have to manually pick them up with right click or by crouching. What, is this not real life? Pssh. Also, also, when accessing your inventory, you can now find the recipe for anything you want to craft with the side menu here. Left click to get the recipe to make that item, or right click to see what that item can be crafted into. I probably should have started with things like this, but yeah, I said it was bad at tutorial videos. 
Step 4. Personal hygiene. Or biomes and you. Health something. Ugh, fuck, I don't know what to call this step. Listen up, foo. Your health has been changed around quite a bit. Your health no longer regenerates or gets healed by eating because obviously that shit ain't real. You also have locational hit damage now, so you can get headshot and die in one hit. Deal with it. You only die if your body or head lose all of its hearts. Other effects get applied like slowness if you lose all the hearts on your legs and feet, or mining fatigue slash weakness if your arms get borked. There are several ways to heal now that are <clears throat> far more realistic if I do say so myself. You can craft a number of bandage, plaster, and even medkit items now, using various ingredients or simple stuff like wool and string. Remember to look up the recipes. Sleeping will also heal half your hearts. Huh. What? It's realistic. Sorta. Don't judge me! Food basically becomes just a survival necessity, however, certain new foods can provide some very nice effects. I'll leave that up to you to discover, though. You also have a thirst bar now, because REALISM! Really? You can craft canteens and different kind of juices that provide better saturation, even rain catchers that filter the water for you. Because if you walk up to a pond and hold crouch and right click with an empty hand, that water is dirty. And you basically get the same kind of hunger effect you would if eating rotten flesh. You can even drink the rain! Remember to keep your food and water up, or else if they get too low, you start getting some adverse effects like your vision going monochrome when low on hunger, or even blurry when you're dehydrated. Is this another fuck you moment? This is probably another fuck you moment. Also in this category about how to take care of yourself, you even have a temperature gauge because OMEGA oh FUCK YOU! That's right, as if worrying about hunger, thirst, locational damage, exploding flowers, and dragons wasn't enough, you also have to worry about temperature. I did say I was a sadist, right? So every biome now has a base temperature. Deserts are gonna be hot, and the mountains are gonna be cold, etc, etc. It's pretty self-explanatory. But in the case you're a big dummy dumb, there is a thermometer you can now craft. There's even full seasons as well that will make days and nights hotter or colder depending on the season. With a season clock you can also craft as well. Daytime will be warmer than nighttime, and it will even get colder based on altitude depending if you go too deep, giggity, or too high. Yes, it's that realistic. The point is, setting up camp in a desert in the middle of the summer may not be the greatest idea, nor would trying to grow crops in the winter, without a greenhouse at least. There are certainly many ways to control your heat though, obviously being near fire or lava is going to warm you up, and there's campfires you can craft as well, even wool clothing you can wear and such. Getting colder is a bit more difficult requiring slime gelled armor, cooling coils, or even special enchantments. Or just jumping in the water too, Water's, water cools you down, pretty good. <clears throat> what, you want to know more? Listen, I pointed you in the right direction. You can figure out the rest for yourself. That's part of the fun, right? This tutorial video is already way too long anyway. Step 5. Creature Care and Feeding Guide Pro tip, dragons are assholes. In fact, everything's kind of an asshole. The general rule of thumb is, if it looks like it can kill you, it probably will. Most everything is tameable, however, to be used as pets or even mounts. And that goes for dragons too, though that can be pretty difficult. But we're not here to dive into all the nuances and details. This is just a beginner's guide after all, so I'll leave it up to you, the player, to discover all of that. However, I will let you know that all the new creatures added to RL Craft are biome specific, with certain biomes being deadlier than others. Except dragons. Dragons spawn everywhere, and they're assholes. Yep, that's all I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> Have fun! <laughs> Step 6. The one I probably shouldn't have started with, to be honest. Ooh, what's this? Oh yeah, some sweet loot. <laughs> yeah. What? Did you think you would just know how to use a diamond sword? Oh my wa lol. That's right, there are now skills and attributes accessed here from your inventory, which you level up by using your experience levels. So for example, if you want to use that sweet, sweet diamond armor, you need to hit level 16 in defense. You think you just know how to plant potatoes? Bruh, Bruh. that's farming level 4. Come on, get real. Hovering your mouse over any item will show if it has skill requirements or not. There's also a secondary skill tree. After you reach level 5, you can press L and select the skill you'd like to gain extra XP from, mining, crafting, or combat. And then you'll be able to access this attribute system with L again, where you can spend additional levels on some cool and helpful abilities, like random crit damage, extra speed when sprinting, double smelting chances with furnaces, and tons more. That is pristine! So, you're now a little more prepared for the horrors that RL Craft has in store for you. But wait, there's more! Bonus steps! Bonus steps! Bonus steps! Step. To be honest, there is so much in RL Craft, so much work I put into this mod pack, that if I took the time to explain every little thing, we'd be here all day. 
and ain't nobody got time for that. So very quickly, before I send you all to your doom, here's a few last tips and useful things you ought to know. Rapid fire time! Experience and levels can be stored in an XP book, so you don't lose all your XP when dying. You can craft warp scrolls to teleport you to waystones you've discovered, and death scrolls can be crafted to teleport you to your last death location. There are backpacks! Crouch and punch to put them on, it'll take the place of your chest armor slot, giving you some armor as well, and it'll stop your inventory from exploding all over the place when you die. You can learn more about the lichen like creatures by clicking this button in your inventory once you've discovered them, and they can even be summoned with a summoning staff to be used as minions. There's a disenchanting table now. There are tool belts, complete with weapon wheel. Check your controls. You can only see your coordinates with a compass now. You can craft an atlas that lets you mark places on your map. String and even grass string can be turned into wool. A very useful. Just three wool will make a sleeping bag, which won't set your spawn point. Good for traveling. Paper can be crafted from birch wood. Because realism! Spawners have been completely reworked, dropping a lot of XP when destroyed, and will break automatically if too many mobs spawn from them to prevent XP farming. So you're encouraged to destroy these things as fast as possible. There is an ass load of new potions, enchantments, and tons of new weapons! Toss that crummy sword away and grab yourself a saber, or a pike, or a motherfucking boomerang! There's loads of stuff, all with unique abilities, just be sure to look them up. You can even smelt tools and armor now to get some of the raw materials back. There are reforging stations to get better qualities on items. There are bauble slots, where you can equip special rings and trinkets. You can dual wield! Be sure to crouch, right click on a furnace or brewing stand to bind it to yourself for some of the perks in the L skill tree to work. There's even other dimensions like the Lost City dimension, high risk, high reward, but I'll leave it up to you to discover how to get there. And last but not least, remember, dragons are assholes. I heard wing flapping and I don't like it. Congratulations on making it through the beginner's guide. At least now, you may have a fighting chance in RLCraft. Links are in the description where you can download the mod pack and learn more about it. And I even have my own public server running if you'd like to join and try it online. All that info can be accessed on my Discord pinned to the Minecraft channel. Fair warning though, I'm hosting the server myself, so if like more than 10 people join, the server might shit itself. If you'd like to see more videos on RLCraft and perhaps learn more about it, I'll link the playlist to my RLCraft Let's Play, which actually started back in January of 2018. I've been working on as my pack for a long time. I'd now like to thank my sponsors. <laughs> as if I'd get sponsored Omega Law. Anyway, that is all. Hope you enjoy, and roll the sell out of the outro now. What? You never supported Shivaxi on Patreon. <laughs> you know it'll make you cool, right? I'm not supposed to give my opinion, but give it a try, and then you can tell me if it makes you cool or not. Not convinced yet? Okay, I'll cut you a deal. Patreon is available for well, however much you specify. And that's a great price. This <laughs> so fucking stupid. Dude, imagine if PewDiePie played Harlecraft.